there is some boats that this will affect. A yearly survey done by NOAA scientists showed the number of haddock to catch is dwindling. To help revive the population, NOAA placed federal regulations on New England fishermen. But the issue is, fishermen say they're seeing an increase of the highly demanded fish this season, not a decrease, and they're questioning the science behind the survey. In an effort to protect the fish and fishermen, the New England Fishery Management Council has asked NOAA to increase the limit. It's like 264 metric tons, which is a it's a substantial increase, but it's not a great increase. Placing a limit on the catch rate might have a ripple effect onshore at markets known for selling locally caught fish. We understand what is going to have to change in order for us to have to get by. Scott Rice sees the demand firsthand at Yankee Fisherman's Co-op in Seabrook, where Haddock is the number one seller. It's unfortunately not going to be local for a little bit. It's unfortunately what we got to do to protect the environment. Back on the water, it's unclear how long the regulations will last. It depends on what happens with the spawning stock. But officials say protecting future fish populations will protect the future of one of the seacoast's most vital industries. The best thing we can do is really to protect the fish so we all have a future moving forward. And NOAA is behind making federal fishing regulations. The council has sent their emergency action request to NOAA. They hope to hear a response from them within the month. We're live in Portsmouth, Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.